guys, welcome again to my YouTube channel. This is me, Princess Peng. So for today's vlog, tadaling ko kayo dito sa ating palasyo. <laughs> a joke. Dan dito tayo sa Donenburg Castle. Yung ibang part dito is hindi siya open kasi nga dahil sa pandemic, they closed some facilities here in the castle. So, nandito lang tayo sa loob and uh, labas ng castle. So, hindi natin mapupuntahan yung loob doon kasi sarado siya. This is really an old castle here. Dorenburg is already mentioned in the 9th century. In 1295, a lord of the Dornenburg is mentioned for the first time, Willem van Dornick. At that time, according to tradition, Geisbrecht van Amstel complicit in the murder of the Dutch Count Floris V in 1296, sought refuge from Amsterdam on the Dornenburg. Perhaps this story is questionable and was probably constructed in the 16th century when the Van Amstel family inherited the castle. As far as I know, the castle was never taken by siege. During the Dutch Revolt, 80-year war of 1568-1648, the gentlemen followed faithfully and without a fight the change of parties of the Gelderland states. The Dornenburg has been inhabited by the successive families Van Dornick, Van Bailand, Van Humut, Van Forst, Van Amstel, Van Hemskerk, and Van Bemo. The last resident was Maria Clara von Delvich, Baroness of Bemo. She died in 1847 at a very old age. However, the castle had already become the property of the Van der Heiden family from 1800 through the inheritance of her husband who died in 1799. However, they never lived in the castle, so the building fell into serious disrepair. In 1936, textile industrialist Yeha van Heek from Enschede founded the Stichting tot behoud van den Dornenburg became chairman of the board and on the same day bought the castle the Dornenburg from Baron AECC van der Heiden. In 1937, the foundation began the restoration that was completed in 1941. Van Heek did not experience much pleasure from the restoration. In the last six months of the Second World War, the Beethoven was on the front line. The castle served as the German headquarters. In January and March 1945, the British Air Force bombed the castle. In the first air raid, several buildings of the Outer Bailey were destroyed. The second attack was disastrous for the castle. A big mess was left. Dornenburg Castle is a part of the Liberation Route Europe. The following fragment can be heard at the listening point, which paints a picture of these frightened days during the war. After the war, Van Heek started all over again. With the help of the government and various private individuals, the, the Dornenberg Foundation has gradually been completely restored, 1947 to 1966. Then the robust castle was back in full glory. A great convenience in this reconstruction was that the foundation had access to the experiences it had gained during the first restoration. 
In addition, many builders were present at both the first and the second restoration job. You can take the most beautiful wedding photos in the castle and in the courtyard of Dornenburg Castle. A photo shoot consists of one hour of photography with your own photographer led by a hostess or host from the castle. The medieval courtyard of Dornenburg Castle is one of the largest in the Netherlands. The castle is surrounded by approximately 8 hectares of pasture, the perfect location for any event or festival from a fair to a multi-day spectacle. Whether you are organizing a company outing or a staff party, a product presentation or networking drink, a meeting or complete dinner, Castle Dornenburg is the perfect location for every occasion. Be inspired by the possibilities and contact Pautenport Catering to discuss your wishes. Castle Dornenburg cannot exist without its committed volunteers. If you want to become a volunteer of the castle, you can. The castle has various volunteer groups from guides to event organizers, from green maintenance to cultural work group, from PR group to the Dornenburg Harrison. Yun lang po yung mapapakita natin dito sa loob. Maraming mga castles here in the Netherlands. Marami pang mga hindi natin napupuntahan. Sobrang dami ng castle dito. And isa tanga to sa mga castle na nakatayo pa rin hanggang ngayon dito sa Netherlands. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button there. And if you want to be notified sa ating mga susunod na upload, please don't forget to hit the bell button right there. And see you again in my next vlog. Bye!